Hey, hey, Comfy Nesters. This is Grace at the Comfy Nest with Grace Kurtz. I'm here to do a project with you today and we're featuring essential stencils. Every Thursday, I do a project for essential stencil either here on my business page or on theirs. And I got a hodgepodge of materials to use today. There's gonna be a lot of layering, so I hope you're looking forward to that. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm live, so hang tight, folks. When you come on, please say hello. Let me know that you're here. Oh, good gravy. I had to get my last cup of coffee in. I have to admit, I had to run over to the coffee pot, make one last cup so that I can sip while I'm working. Um, let's see. I'm eager to see you all. I feel like I haven't been live with you guys for a while. Um, I tried so hard to get on yesterday um, to do a little project, and it just didn't work. But I'm here now. So yay. Okay, let's see. Where am I? Where, oh, where did my live go? If I can find it, the nice thing about finding it on my um, business page is then if I can find it on my iPad, then I can read your comments. Can't read them otherwise when I'm putting that camera down low. There we go. I found me. I hope you found me too. All right, let's see. Comments, where are you? All right, there we go. There's Tara. Is it Tara or Tara? Hello, how are you? Good morning, Ellen. She says, I'm here from rainy West Virginia. It is sunny, but very, very cold here. I think it's like minus 14 or something crazy like that. We, when we asked Alexa the weather today, she said, you can expect a high of minus one. I'm staying inside if I can. <laughs> I'm staying inside. Tell me the weather where you are. What's the temp? Hey, Deb, good morning. Hello and welcome. Yes, you guys, I'm still working on coffee. Oh, I love it. It keeps me nice and warm and it's so yummy. Hey, Neil. And there's Janet. It's Ziak. I love your name, Janet. Hey, Belinda. Hey, hey, girl. And Nancy's here. You guys remember this project from last week? Oh, I can see it now. I got to flip the camera. Flip the camera because you cannot read it. Okay, remember this from last week? I figured out where the board came from. Everybody always asks where I, you know, where we get these surfaces that we're working on, and I figured it out. So it's in the description. I've been trying to be really good about in the description of the live. So when the video is over and I share it on my page, and when Essential Stencil sends it out to you guys later, um, I've been trying really hard to put my materials list so you know where everything came from because I know you guys always want to know that and I would too. This board comes from Crafts Direct. It is like my favorite craft store in the world. Okay, can I tell you that? It's really far away from me, which makes me want to cry. But if you live in Minnesota and anywhere near Waite Park, I think it's called Waite Park, Minnesota, it's on the way down. We drive about nine and a half hours to get my son to his doctor's appointments every six months for a checkup because he has Crohn's disease. And on the way down for years, I had been seeing this billboard. Stop at this Crafts Direct, the biggest store, the greatest store. And I just would go by. We would go by. We'd go by because my son doesn't necessarily want to go to a craft store. Well, this last time we had time to kill. So I said, all right, Gannon, hang on tight, buddy. We're pulling over. So I went in there and literally my favorite store in the world. Anyway, I'm starting, I'm hoping to start working with them next month's kit for my, my monthly craft club. Um, is going to be from Crafts Direct. This is where I got this board. It's on sale today for like seven something, seven ninety eight. It's usually twelve ninety nine, and it's on sale today. I'm using this board again today. Okay, so it's I bought two of them when I was there this summer. I still have them. I'm gonna use them today. So let's get started. Janet says she loves my last project. Thank you so much for saying that. Hey, Robin in Tennessee. Joey said she loved that last project. I have another announcement for you. Um, <laughs> Tonda says it was zero in Nebraska this morning. Urgh, so cold. So, so cold. 38 in Washington. Ellen, that's not so bad. Snow, snow, snow and cold. Joy says in Woodbridge, Illinois. I love this, you guys. High of 14. Yikes. Okay, so the other announcement I want to tell you. I, my mind, my mind goes a million miles an hour. Is anybody else like that? It could be the coffee talking, but I don't know. Anyway, I have so many of these projects. I finish them and then I like they're either they're sitting around around me in my craft room or I will prop them up 
like in my living room or I only have so much space you guys so I'm gonna start making these available to you guys during my lives so this one and the one I do today if anyone wants to buy it you can just uh, I'll um what did I, what was the just comment I'll buy it and then private message me with your mailing address and email address and I will work out getting it to you so today's and this one would be $15. Okay, the board is $12.99 regularly. So I'm not charging you a lot. Plus I have the three hearts, plus the time and energy going into it, the paints, the, the stencils. I, I don't, I'm not trying to make money. I'm trying to cover the cost so I can keep doing projects for you guys. So if anybody wants them, comment, I'll buy it. These two today and last week's for 15 bucks. And then I'll work it out with you to figure out your shipping. You just need to private message me. If there are more than one of you, I will just um, relay that message. Like the first person that gets through will get it. And then for the rest of you folks, like just keep an eye on my lives because that's what I'm going to start doing with this stuff. I just have too much stuff. I can't, I can't, I got no, I got no room for this stuff. And they're very cute, very darling. Um, <laughs> that's, it's just going to be my way of dealing with that. Okay. All right. Let's get to some project stuff. I want to hear, I'm, I'm listening in though for weather stuff because, oh, Sam said she sprinkled. Thank you. That's another announcement, you guys. Do you have, can you, can you bear with me for one thing here? Okay. Another way for me to give out my goodies. Um, I'm going to start a little prize basket. Okay. I'm starting a prize basket. Sharing the love. You share the love. This is the way this is going to work. You spread the love out there in the world. And what ends up happening, thankfully, is it draws more attention to the project. Then more people come on board. When we hit 100 viewers, I'm going to put two names in the basket. When we hit 200 viewers, I'll put two more names in the basket during every live that I do. And then two days a month. So I think I'm going to do it on the, what did I, I have to write it down because I don't remember. I got, <laughs> I have something funny to tell you in a minute here. Um, what did I say I'll do? Like I decided... On February 21st will be the first time I'll draw from this basket and whoever's name is in there, I'll send them some happy mail. Like everybody who um, is on my lives has an opportunity to be in. You just got to make sure you comment because I'm going to randomly pick from the comments and the names to put in the basket. And then twice a month, I think I'm going to do it the first and third Friday. I'll draw for prizes and send happy mail to folks. That'll be another way for me to, to um, give out some goodies. Patricia says it's chilly in Illinois. Hello, Patricia. And Peggy's here. Hi, Madeline. And Bill is here from Ohio in the house. Hey, Evelyn. Oh, Evelyn, I hope you're feeling better. She had the flu recently. Stephanie says, that's so cute. So cute. I'm glad you like it. What a deal, Deb says. No kidding, right? Are you talking about the Crafts Direct? This, these boards? I love these boards because they've, they've got the distressing already. They're like a nice... Um, They've got a lot of texture, which I like when I'm painting. They're hollow, so they're not heavy. You don't have to worry about a hanger because normally, like if you wanna hang this on a wall, they're just like the canvases. Um, you can just basically prop them and if you you know go just right, left and right until you get it centered, that works out real great. All right, let me, let me start projecting. I'm gonna start projecting and I can still talk to you, but I'm gonna get this camera down. Hi, Pat. I love saying hello to everybody, though. And Patricia Trimble. She says, I'll buy it. Okay, you're the first one. You're the first comment I see. Private message me, P Patricia, with your um, with which one you want. And I'll work out all the details with those that private message me. Um, I need your email address and your mailing address. Okay, so here's my board that I'm using. Um, I'm going to be using the Stencil of the Month Club. If you haven't noticed, all of the ambassadors this week, and I'm the last one to go. We, we have lives every day, Monday through Thursday, for Essential Stencil. And this week, we're focusing on the Stencil of the Month. Um, I'm going to lift you guys up a little higher. Just hang tight. I was thinking as I was coming in here, I have so many things to tell you. And um, I don't have a teleprompter. It's not like news programs. I have to remember all this stuff or write notes because I can't remember all the stuff I'm supposed to tell you. Um, so I was thinking that I also don't have a cameraman. So when I may need to make a change, I got to do it myself. All right. It's a one woman show over here. Here is the stencil of the month that our brilliant Sharon from I Restore Stuff. Um, she designed this along with the crew at Essential Stencil. And so here she is. There's beautiful Sharon. So this is the February stencil of the month. And every month, the members get a set of stencils sent to their door. You can sign up for one month, 
You can sign up for three months, you can sign up for six months, and then you get the cute apron that I'm wearing, okay? Each, if you, the more you enroll for, the bigger your discount um, you get on your monthly stencil. Each month, there's also a coordinating add-on stencil that you can choose from, and this month, this is the add-on stencil that Sharon came up with, and I'm gonna use this today on my project. So all week long, we've been focusing on stencil of the month. I'm gonna put this aside because I don't need it right now. Did we hit 100 viewers yet? Somebody let me know, because I'm gonna add some names once we hit 100. All right, here we go. I need my craft mat because I'm going to do some painting and I want to protect my table. I tape this to the wall, literally tape it to the wall. And then when I'm ready, I have it. All right, look at this gorgeous color. You guys, I'm in love with the pinks. I'm going to paint all of these. I need to paint them all. So I started with two. I wanted to see them on there to make sure I liked the color. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna get a quick coat of paint on these and then I'll do the second part of this project. I'm not even telling you what it's fully gonna be. I want you to be like surprised as it all comes together. It's really, really sweet though. I will tell you that. All right, let me look at comments. Janet says she loves the pinks. This is, um, these little browns are in my Amazon store. They're, I get like, a, I don't know, I got like 50 of them and I use them all the time, you guys. Um, you can buy a set of six at Walmart, but it was more economical for me to just buy a whole bunch of them and have them in my inventory. And I love these pinks too, Miss Janet. I am a huge fan of pink right now. I'm just into it. I'm into pink and I'm into buffalo plaid and both of those things are going to make it into this, into this uh, live today. So now like I don't, I don't want my fingers, if I can help it, because I'm such a messy person, you guys know that, right? So this is my t tip for you, this is what I do. I take my sh my X-Acto knife, I would, if I don't want to get my fingers dirty, this is what I do, and then I get that last little spot. That one's done. Okay, um, I just have to quickly get all of these painted. I'm gonna try to go fast for you guys so we're not here for ever in a day, right? But I do love your company. I love when you guys are here with me. Melissa's watching. Hello, Melissa. Hey, Karen. She says, can't wait to see what you're doing with these. I know. I'm kind of, I thought today, instead of revealing everything at once, you guys, I'm being a little brat. I'm going to hold back on you and you're just going to have to wait and see. Just like Karen said, I can't wait to see. That's the whole idea. I wanted you to be like, ooh, what are we working on today? I am a lover of all DIY, just like you guys all are. And I, like in my free time, which I literally have none, but when I need downtime, which this week has been a really tough week for me, work-wise, I've been really struggling <laughs> with my stuff. And if, I know that sounds just silly when I, I do crafts for a living and I'm really struggling. Um, but yeah, there are a couple of things in my work <laughs> that I, you know, I struggle to, you guys. It's not all crafting. I get all the behind the scenes stuff that I have to manage and I've been struggling. So anyway, last night when I was like in bed and trying to totally like calm down, chill out, I watch craft. I watch other crafters. I do on Facebook. I watch other crafters on YouTube. I look at crafts on Pinterest. My life is crafts and I love it. My life is all crafting and I will have it no other way. All right, we're gonna get these. See, I use my little X-Acto because it doesn't leave any mark on the wood that is noticeable and it allows me to not get my fingers all full of paint. Last night in my craft therapy club, so one workshop a month live, we were making the farmhouse beaded, you know those beads, um, beaded garlands with the tassels on them. I showed them how to make those. Um, and my, like, all right, this is really bad, but my fingers are so, my skin is so dry. <laughs> and suffering because of the winter weather that my fingers started bleeding. I was like, okay guys, ignore that. Ignore the blood. Let me figure that out while I try to craft. It's it's a um, occupational hazard to have bleeding fingers when you're trying to do, when you're trying to do lives and everybody's focused on your hands. I, I told you guys, I'm not a manicure girl. I can't, I, my manicure is my acrylic paint. I mean, I, I have acrylic paint French manicures all the time because I always have my fingers in the paint and it occurred to me that's probably why my fingers hurt so bad um, because I'm always in glue, Mod Podge, paint. I got all kinds of stuff. All right, I'm going to put these aside because I need to 
let them dry. So I'm going to try to pick this up carefully and put it away. And then I'm going to bring out the next thing that I'm working on, which is what, Grace? Oh, right here. Okay, hold on. I don't want to mess myself up. I'm going to, before I show you, I'm going to make sure that you guys, um, if we hit 100 viewers, do we hit 100? We're at 89, you guys. Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. Keep spreading the love. I'm going to turn my hot glue gun on because I'm going to need it. All right, you're going to ask where I got this from. I know you are. Okay, at the Dollar Tree, every season at the Dollar Tree, they tend to have the, I just picked these up yesterday, these types of little wood cutouts on, and they usually have holes cut in them with a little string. Um, so I picked these up yesterday, but the heart I picked up last year at Dollar Tree, um, and it has two little holes in it. All right, I gotta put these aside. <laughs> Hold on, little Scrabble letters. Scrabble letters, and I tell you this in the description, I got them from the dollar spot at Target. They were $3, and this is all that came in my bag, and I'm just using the Love You More part, and then I'll use the Be Mine letters on a different project. But anyway, this heart, you see it had two holes in it, um, and I wanted to hide the holes so a paint job wasn't going to do it, so I used contact paper to cover it. I literally used contact paper that I bought off Amazon. I cannot find for the life of me um, black and white Buffalo check scrapbook paper. So I bought contact paper from Amazon. It's a huge roll of it. And I use that here on my heart to cover it because I want, I needed those holes to go away for this project. I needed them to not be seen. So I am going to hot glue these on and I've got something really special to put on the top of it. Let me just do a quick check on comments first. Angela says, I will have to try that. My hands are so bad. Yes, the this exacto knife really. So I've got a little pink paint on there, but I don't care. Like I can get that off with a little bit of water or usually I, I do try to just clean it right away. Um, I hope it helps because my hands are in tough shape. Hey, Fran. Fran says, hey, y'all. Hello, hello. Brittany, right? The buffalo check. It's the other thing. Pink and buffalo plaid. Are, like, I'm so in love right now. And the both of them are going to go in this project on that board. So you'll see. Robin loves to use fabric, too. That's a great idea. That's an awesome idea. Hello, Lynn. Hello, hello. She says, I like that contact paper. Rosina says, I do, too. It's cute. It's really thin. It's not as thick as the contact paper I get at Walmart, but actually I found it really easy to use because of that. Um, Walmart has wooden hearts in the craft aisle for 97 cents. So there you go. I had to cover mine with contact paper because of those things. I'm gonna hot glue these on here, but before I do that, there's another, I told you, layers and layers of stuff today. Here's what else I'm putting on my project. <laughs> Look what I found in my, I have my, my okay, can I just tell you my, oh, woo, I dropped you guys. My husband, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to give anybody a headache. <laughs> like, I don't have a camera person. It's me, I'm doing the crafting, I'm doing the, <laughs> the camera, all of it. I was gonna tell you what's really funny is my husband came in here the other day and he looked up and he said, you have two Rubbermaid totes. Is that all ribbon? That's just ribbon. I said, yeah, that's all ribbon. It's all ribbon. And actually this is an elastic, but look at how cute it is, you guys. So stinking sweet. I'm gonna put this on my heart along with the love you more letters. Um, so that's my goal. This, you're gonna ask me where I got it. I got it at a secondhand store. I always go into the craft section at all secondhand stores. You guys, we have 98 viewers. Get me up to 100. I'll put a couple of names in that get that prize basket. It is actually an elastic. So this must have been like an embellishment that somebody used for their daughter's costume or I don't know what. Maybe they made a handbag. I don't know, but I'm going to use it on my heart. I'm so sorry I dropped you guys. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy says she sprinkled. Thank you very much. So helpful. Hello, Sue. Paterossi, 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 I like your name. She's in Central Illinois. Thank you, Nicole, for sprinkling. All right, let me get you back down. Take a look. So now this heart is also going on this board and I'm going to make, I'm just gonna use part of this, but I'm gonna drape this over the heart to make it like a little banner. Like, is that cute? Like a little garland? 
I think this is so cute. I love it. Okay, I just need a little piece of it. I don't need all of it, but I wanted to show you before I cut it what it was. I'm going to like drape this like that, and maybe I should go at an angle a little bit. No, I think I kind of like it rounded. It's so cute. All right, I'm going to cut it and then hot glue this on the back. So I'm so glad. This, I think, was just in like a bag with a bunch of other stuff. Um, <laughs> I always buy those little grab bags that have all the like lace and because I love using them for embellishments. I didn't even need that much of it, but I'm going to just do it like this. So I'm hot gluing it. I'm going in for the kill here. Um, a tip for you with a hot glue. I usually use like a plastic knife. I have these in my, to push it down because I ain't about getting my fingers burnt. They're already hurting enough, right? I don't need any more hurt. I don't need this extra. So now I've got one secured. How cute is this? I love you guys. I really do love projects that have, um, a, can you call them multimedia? Like, I love projects that have a lot of different design elements. So fabrics and paints and wood chips and anything that I have in my craft room, I love to use them up. I want this to come from this angle so that it dangles the right way. I'm pushing it on with my knife because I don't want to burn my fingers. I'm going to chop the extra off because I don't need any of that. All right, now, <laughs> how cute is this? Oh, I love it. I just love it. It makes me think of like a little bathing suit or something, like, like the little frill on a bathing suit or something. I don't know, it's just so cute. And look at it, stretchy, which is funny. All right, now I'm gonna put the Love You More back on here. I'm saving this heart for later so that I can coordinate everything. But I'm gonna get this Love You More on here. These Scrabble letters from the Target spot. I needed to have my... Um, my little tiny garland in place so I could see where to put my letters. And I'm gonna put them like this. And I, you know, I love everything wonky, you guys. I'm a wonky person, but the other side of my project with those pink things are gonna be wonky. So I think I'm gonna do these pretty straight, but not perfectly straight. I'm gonna separate them a little just as they are. This is how I'm gonna glue them down. And this should be easy breezy. This should go by pretty quick. Boop. So this set is adorable. $3 for these little Scrabble letters. I, they feel or look to me to be just a little bigger than a regular Scrabble letter. Um, but I'm not sure. I haven't played Scrabble in a long time. Hey, Susan in Asheville, North Carolina. What's the weather like there, girly? We've been talking weather temps. It, it is um, a high of negative one here in North Dakota today. What happens at 100? Oh, oh my gosh, we hit 100. You guys, you guys, woo -hoo! All right. You guys are like the first ones to go into the little prize basket. I'm excited about this. I'm going to randomly pick a couple of names and a couple of people are going into the prize basket. And then on the 21st, I'm going to be pulling. So every live, I'm going to do this. And then on the 21st, I'm going to pull some names. And um, the I'll pull a name on the, third, the first and third Friday of the month. And those folks will get happy mail from me. And that can include craft supplies like what my craft monthly craft club is doing for the month or it can be and it will probably be some items from me that i've made my first one is june burgard so june oh my pen's not working great june where are you i gotta get your name down june a burgard now listen to me folks here's the deal uh, because i noticed this the other day june your name's going in the basket when I choose your name, June, if you're the winner on the 21st, I can tag you in that winning post only if you like and follow my page. If you don't like and follow my page, I won't be able to tag you and I may not be able to find you. So please make sure. Peggy Wyatt, she says, I love the suspense. Peggy, here's some more suspense for you, my love. <laughs> Peggy Wyatt, what a pretty name. Um, you are the next person in the bucket. If we get up to 200 viewers, I'll add two more names to the bucket. I'm going to do this in every live, rewarding you guys for sharing the love, spreading, sprinkling, throwing it out there. Um, that helps to grow my viewership and the people who like and follow my page. Um, but for those of you whose name gets in there, in order for me to um, tag you when you win so that you're notified that you won, I, you need to like and follow my page. Okay, okie dokie. Someone said, oh no, oh no what? Oh, about my bleeding fingers maybe. 
<laughs> I love messy, but the projects come out pretty. Yes, Joyce, I am extremely messy. I am extremely messy, yes, but I do. I love my projects. I love to have fun with them. Um, so thank you for saying that. Those are encouraging words. All right, let's get gluing. My love is on there. My more needs some space down here. I don't want it hanging off the edge, so i got to make sure I keep those in place. All right, let's finish these up. Um, I am going to gift away three stencil sets, so all kinds of giveaways. All kinds of giveaways. We, we're, we're good with the giveaways. So three people today will win a set of stencils, so stay tuned for that, and you'll need to email Essential Stencil with your name and email address so they can get them to you. And the other thing I need to tell you, so important today, oh, wait a minute, that I almost put that upside down. Oh, good gravy, Gracie. Pay attention. There we go. All right, now I got glue strings. There's a glue string in the midst here. We'll pull those off and get them in the garbage. Um, I didn't forget to tell you, but I needed to wait a little bit until everybody was online to tell you this. If you would like to know, um, there's a special going on for anybody interested in or who is already in the Stencil of the Month Club. If you are in, if you'd like to be in, if you want to learn more about it, you need to comment right now. All The only thing that you can comment is the word club, C-L-U-B. Comment that and you're going to get a little message that gives you a couple of things. I'm not going to drop you this time, but I'm going to look at you for a minute. You're going to get, get a couple of things. Comment the word, no hashtag, no nothing, just club, the word club, C-L-U-B. Do it now. You are going to get, if you have the Facebook Messenger app, you're going to get a message right away that gives you the special discount for people who either are interested in joining the monthly club, and it is an incredible discount for those folks, and there's also a discount available for those club members who are already in the club in the Stencil of the Month Club store. Because you know, if you're a club member, they have a store of stencils and all of the stencils that get sent to them every month, like this one, it is exclusively available only to club members. So you have to be in the club to do it. So just type in the word club and then you'll get that message. So you get the, and you're getting a sneak peek at the March stencil of the month. You'll also get a sneak peek. So if you want to see the, the stencil of the month for March, go ahead and comment club, okay? You guys were at 113 viewers, which is so stinking fun. If we get to 200, I'm going to add some more names. All right, look at This is ready to go. This is going on my board. How cute. Now we're going to get to the stenciling, okay? That's ready. I've got, these needed to be dry. In order for me to stencil them, they had to be dry. <laughs> so they are pretty much dry. I'm gonna take them off here because I don't need my my little helper anymore. Because I shouldn't get any paint on my table when I'm stenciling. Now, I'm gonna stencil on these two words. I'm gonna use this later, so I don't wanna forget that. Um, I'm gonna use the stencil of the month. If you can't believe it, the stencil of the month is like a coffee set. It's like a coffee shop cool little coffee shop table for you know and what's so popular right now is that people having their coffee stations in their kitchens um, and you get all these stencils in this set with the stencil of the month for february okay um and the add-on stencil so you have the option you don't have to but you can add on an additional stencil um is this one and this is what i'm going to use and my project has nothing to do with coffee um but i'm going to use these words and letters to like finalize this really sweet project, okay? So the first thing it's gonna, I'm gonna put sweet, S-W-E-E-T on these pink ones and then I'll do this, this word later. But let's get this done. So what I need to do is pull out my brushes. The stencil brushes that I use are from Essential Stencil and they're my favorite. They are by far the best ones I've ever used. You guys know I also like to use makeup wedges, but um, the stencil of the month or the stencil that brushes that stencil, essential stencil has, I can't find my words today. Um, they just got a really smooth handle. They come in four sizes. They hold the paint very well. You can see easily. I use these two sizes more than I use these. And today I'm doing very small letters, so I'm gonna use the smallest brush. But this comes with all four sizes. So if you're doing the big vertical ones, you'd want the bigger brush. Um, 
We're taking pre-orders for those right now. So you can get 10% off your pre-order if you use my code, The Comfy Nest, when you order them. Um, they will start shipping those off on February 21st. I learned that today. February 21st. So if you've already if you've already placed your pre-order, you're in the queue and you'll be one of the first to get it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do with this on my board. I'm going to make these letters all wonky and it's going to kind of look like the Olympic rings, I realized. But this is how I'm going to do them on my board. So I need to be, my letters, I, I need to position them, I think, for these three, especially up a little higher. I want to, I want to make the word sweet with these little letters. Actually, I think it's going to work out if I put them right in the center. I just wanted to check my positioning before I started stenciling them on. I'm going to move my hot glue gun over so I don't burn myself. All right, I'm going to start. We're just going to position these right in the middle. I need for myself... Um, I will use my craft mat. I'll pull this back off the wall again. I'll use this for my paint because I don't have tin foil nearby. All right. I think I'm going to use white paint. I debated about light pink or white, and I'm going to go with the white. I'm going to dig in here and get a bunch out. It's on my... I'm going to get a bunch of this out. This is Waverly in the color plaster, if you need to know. Um, let me check quick. <laughs> Someone said, I like your thinking. I'm just going to check real quick to see comments or questions. i got to order my brushes today. Don't wait, Lisa. Get in the queue. First come, first serve, right? They're taking pre-orders. You get 10% off using my code, The Comfy Nest. Um, and they're sending them out. They start sending them out on February 21st. So they'll start, um, you know, they're going to start sending them out to the people who ordered first, I'm guessing. Like first in, first out, right? Okay, here are my little circles no glue she says no wait hey there's crafts direct thanks for using our surface today your project looks amazing i'm so glad you guys are here you are seriously and i'm not kidding my favorite in of all time favorite craft store i have ever been to it is the best craft store you guys i could spend literally days in there and if i lived near their place and if i lived near Wait park minnesota i would work there I'm, I'm promising you I would because I need to be there. I need to be around all their goodness. It's an awesome story. It used to be the old ben, ben Franklin, I believe. Karen says, I like your thinking. Wait, now Ruth said no holes or glue. I'll get to that later, I promise. Okay, hugely important. I've got my little stash of paint. I've got my paintbrush. It has too much paint on it. You can see I've got it like up here in the bristles. You need to really offload the paint off your brush, but work it in. I do little round circles to work it up and into the brush. That way you avoid bleed through. Offloading, if you're new to stenciling, please, if you take nothing else away from this video, just know that you have to offload your brush. You cannot just go in with wet paint on a stencil um, because what's going to happen is you're going to get bleed through and then you'll be very sad and then you'll message us and say I'm struggling with bleed through and we'll say offload 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 that's always our answer are you offloading enough are you taking enough paint off so that it's not oozing underneath your stencil and causing that bleed through all right let's just see if this is dark enough I'm struggling for space here if you haven't noticed I use this little hinge method yep it's dark enough there's my S done let's do the w you notice i'm not cleaning this i'm gonna i'm a risky girl i'm just gonna risk it and i put my w down in the middle of my pink circle and i'm gonna put on here the letter w and i'm gonna make the the word sweet and then you'll see i'm gonna love this project but i still am gonna sell it <laughs> i can't i just got too much stuff you guys i have too many projects in my house and my husband is like okay where are you gonna put that and so it's all piled up in my office or it's piled up here in my craft room and it's just not being used and that makes me a little sad oh my gosh this is gonna be really cute i love these letters i i, I love them they're kind of blocky they're i love like my favorite is like handwritten looking fonts. I do love them a lot, but these are cute, these letters. And my um, project today has nothing to do with coffee, but I'm still using my stencils from the Stencil of the Month Club, which are exclusive. You can't buy these on the website. You have to be a club member 
And if you aren't a club member and you want a really good deal on it, uh-oh, I got a little bit of overshot there. I'm gonna have to fix that. See, I got a little bit of white right there. Don't you worry, E, I'll get that to you later and fix you. So the way you can avoid that, my letters are kind of close together and because I want to separate them, what you can do, um, just what you can do to, to, to protect yourself is just tape off the stuff around it. Um, I usually have tape everywhere. Uh, I'll take one of these. Thank you very much. Um, you can just tape it off. That way it protects you from having that like little bit of mess there that I created. I can fix that. I'll just dab a little more pink on there. So this is one way to protect yourself. We love giving tips out as ambassadors. <laughs> That's the whole idea behind these these lives is to give you guys some tips. How are we doing? We got 130 viewers. If we get to the 200 mark, I'm going to be adding two more people to the prize basket with the potential to win. I will give away three sets of stencils. Essential Stencil is offering three sets of stencils. They're so super generous. Every live we give away three sets of stencils. And um, I'll be, whoa, it's stuck to the back. I'll be, um pulling those names at the end. So just make sure you stay on board because you'll want to know that you won. And like I said, if, if, if you, if I pull your name and you have liked and followed my page, I can tag you in that post and then you'll know. Um, but sometimes I have trouble finding people when people comment on my posts and then I just try to go find them out in Facebook world. Gosh, like even you wouldn't imagine the guy who I work with from um, craft deals. There's like several people with his name and I have emailed the wrong one asking him questions and get a message back. Like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, lady. <laughs> I don't sell wood blanks. I'm like, oh, all right, wrong one. Um, so if you want to make sure that we can find you when you win a prize, you need to make sure you like and follow my page. All right, there we go. We got the word sweet. That is stinking cute. And you know what? Let me tell you something. I had another idea. I can't do it today because I can only do one project at a time. But let me show you something because I thought this would be stinking cute. Ah, uh, it's not showing. I'm going to pull this out and show you. These little cute little things that you can put all these letters on, do that. Punch holes in them with your crocodile. That's in my Amazon store. If you don't know what that is, it punches through everything. But you could put these that comes in this stencil of the month. How about putting the coffee beans in all these little cups? On They fit on these little rounds. And then you could, like, I know a lot of people have trees that they, they do for Valentine's Day, like a Christmas tree, but then they take down the Christmas and then they do it for Valentine's Day, they do it for St. Patty's Day. These would make the cutest little ornaments with those little cups and the beans, and you could make a, like a coffee-themed tree. How cute would that be? I only got so much time, people, though. I don't have time. I don't have time to do it all. <laughs> I wish I did. <laughs> Bruce says, they're awesome, really pretty. Oh, good, I'm glad. All right, here's my second word, you guys. I'm gonna reveal it to you. All right, let's see. I gotta see how this is coming together. So I got my board from Crafts Direct. Love the board. It's on sale now for like seven. It's like a almost a six dollar savings. Normally twelve ninety nine. So this is my board. I don't want to get paint on it, so I'm going to scoot this over for a minute. I need to check my positioning of this project to make sure that I've, I can fit everything on here. All right, got the board. Let me fix this quick while I have. Where's my, my where's my pink paint? because I got a little bit of white. I didn't use my painter's tape when I should have. I was being rushing and being a little lazy. I'm lazy and messy. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of pink paint here and blend it in to get rid of those two little white spots. Mistakes are fixable, people. We don't fret about mistakes, no big deal. All right, this can go in a bucket of water, which I don't have because I left it in my laundry room. Oh my lord, people. All right, here we go. Here's here's my plan on the board. Here's my plan. The heart's gonna go over here. I gotta get you up so you can see. The heart's gonna go here, and then I'm gonna spell out with this stencil of the month stencil set. My plan is to spell out. I want this in the back, I think. I'm gonna hot glue these on in a minute. In a hot minute, folks. This is all gonna come together. Now, this, this whole sign was inspired by the fact, 
All right, this is what's going to happen here. Yep, yep, yep. It's going to look like this. I got to get that other word on there, but this is what it's going to look like. And I'll tell you in a minute here how I, th what this was inspired by. It's all going to get hot glued down. Oh my word, I'm loving it. I'm just so excited. Okay, let me get the other word on here. Uh, there is not a word here that says what I want it to say. So I need to like piece it together um, with like just letters from the various words that are here. Okay, so I need my stencil brush. I need a little more paint. I need to offload because I'm adding more. So make sure that you offload. All right, guys, if you are just coming on, make sure to type in only the word club and you'll get a sneak peek at the March stencil for the month. And you'll also get um, awesome, fantastic coupons either to join the club or if you're a member of the club on the store, the stencil of the month store, which is all exclusive to club members only. But there's a there's a discount, a special for both of you. Okay, you're going to see what this is. And I am in love with it. And I'm selling it because I have nowhere to put it. Okay, uh, we need that. See if you can guess what this is gonna say. I need this, I'm going in with an E. I need more paint, I need more paint. After I get this all stenciled up, I'm gonna glue it all together. You guys know I'm a huge fan of like, use a little bit of this, use a little bit of that. So I got some fabric on here, some like, little embellishment from a, probably a sewing project. Oh, my stencil moved. Ha, ha, ha. You guys, Hot Mess Express. You can count on me to be your hot mess crafter. And you can count on me to show you that um, none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. I should take that off so I don't have a mistake there. It gives me more room to move my brush without worrying about getting extra paint there that I don't need. Move that down a little. All right, I'm kind of stippling because I want to make sure that the edges get really filled in. Do you know what this is going to say? Oh my gosh, yes, you guys. Sweet what? Sweet pea! Yes, look at them all. Sweet pea, sweet pea, sweet pea. Right? How flippin' cute is this? So I was thinking about this. It was inspired by the fact, um, I need to move this whole thing over, guys, so just bear with me. So I can get the A on here. We had a visitor the other day. Um, my husband has a friend, a good friend. We have a good friend, I should say. You know, he, you know, I don't talk to him very often, but he, my husband talks to him all the time, um, who recently had a baby. Um, and <laughs> the baby's name is Paisley Grace, and she's gorgeous. And we had such a lovely little visit with her. We got to meet her for the first time. We hadn't met her yet. She was born in November. And he brought her over, and we all just you know, loved her up and she's the sweetest little baby. She has such a beautiful, sweet disposition. Um, the, my boys are 12 and 14 and we have, we've not had a baby around in a very long time. Um, they certainly don't spend a lot of time with babies. So this whole thing was inspired by her because she is literally a sweet pea and I thought this would be such a great sign to hang in a baby room above a crib or above her dresser or the rocking chair. I just think it's such a sweet sign. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Um, oh, Donna says, that's what I call my granddaughter. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, I love the pink and the black and the white. I almost went with the soft pink, but I'm glad I did the white because the white, it, it pulls in the buffalo plaid, right? All right, let me get gluing this all together. I'm going to keep an eye on the comments. We're at 145 viewers. So all of you who are sharing, I appreciate it. I thank you for that. Um, thank you for being patient as I tell you about all the specials. Yeah, her name is Paisley Grace. I love that name too. Not, I mean, not only because it has my name embedded in it, but it's just a really pretty feminine. And she's the prettiest little girl. She's just so pretty. All right, let's get gluing. Let's get gluing. Isn't this sweet, Cheryl? Cheryl Copeland says, it's so sweet. I'm glad you guys love it. If you're getting value from this, please share the video. Please like and follow my page so that you can stay in touch with all the comfiness happenings. Okay, 
I am going to glue this down. I need my hot glue gun again. Um, and my cord's getting stuck on my bench over there. Okay. This is a little wonky. Like my M is a little lower than all the other letters. But you guys, if you know me, you know I like wonky. I like wonky. I'm going to focus on here. I'm going to stick this down and it's going to go over the edge. So I have to keep in mind that this bottom corner here and here, I don't need to put as much glue. Um, so I'm going to focus on the other parts. Okay. And I can always add more glue later. Now, where did I say? And the other thing I can do if I have to, I'm running out of glue, people. I need another glue stick. Oh, be so careful. I always burn myself. Okay. If it oozes on the back, I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to just scrape it off. This is a really thin heart, though. What I want to tell you when you're doing something like this, just try not to get, the trick is to get close to the edge so it sticks down. But if you get really close to the edge and you put a lot of it, it's going to squirt out and then you'll have like glue here. If that happens to you, don't fret. I usually use my X-Acto knife. And we talked about this last night at my monthly craft club. Um, we, I have a paid membership of people who do a craft with me, one craft a month together. Um, I usually just use my X-Acto and peel it off. Like, you know, get it off. But you have to be careful because you don't want to scratch your surface too. All right, let's get the, the, the letters down. I'm just going to glue them. This should be easy. Um, the only thing I have to do um, here, I think I'm going to do the word these words first so that I can place the other ones around it. <laughs> They're easier. These are going to overlap each other. So I have to do the E and the S first. But let me get the P. Let's get P down. Again, um... I need, this is how I keep my glue sticks, you guys. So they're really handy. It's just like a jelly jar or something like that. I'm going to just put a little bead of glue there and then stick this in here so that they stick together. Uh, again, you want to get close enough to the sides, but I try to leave about a half an inch so that I don't have glue oozing off my project, like out of the piece. I am, um, I've got a, in my Amazon cart, I have a cordless glue gun, PEA. I am notorious for like doing projects and putting the letters in the wrong order. <laughs> so I really have to, I have to stop talking for a minute and think, uh, is it EA, AE? <laughs> I, I am notorious. In fact, I just did it in the craft therapy club, that paid membership club my monthly club I did it we were working on a banner so cute like a little Christmas banner or I'm sorry, Christmas a uh, Valentine banner and um it said love you and I had the O and the U mixed up on the banner I had to like oh uh, pull it apart and do it again which was fine it, I'm just notorious for that you guys if you're looking for the perfect crafter like the person who always gets it right you're in the wrong place like I don't know who that person is <laughs> it's not me I just, I'm just saying, like, you're in the wrong place if that's what you want from your craft videos. All right, now, I just keep positioning, repositioning, and because uh, i got to be careful that I don't put any one of them in a bad place. The W is going to go there, but the E has to go right there. So I'm just going to kind of hinge it up and put my glue on it. I'm keeping my finger on the edge of the board so that I know to just place it right back down. I have a ton of little strings, little glue strings, but you know, I'll pull those all off later. They'll remove easily. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. Should I just put the T there and put these two on top? I was gonna do it more like the Olympic ring like that, but it actually does look more coordinated if I do it this way. Look at all this <laughs> strings. Strings everywhere. All right, I'll do it this way. All right. This one I should be able to line up with the other two, so I don't really have to keep my finger on there. Hot glue is like the best, isn't it? Like it keeps, it's, it makes these projects so easy. Hot glue gun, I'm telling you. And I've got this one in my, um, in my Amazon cart that I want. 
Oh my gosh, this is so cute. All right, now I have to, like the surface that I can glue, half of this is sitting up off the board. So I can glue the very corners and I can glue this bottom. It's gonna be like a three shot, like boop, boop, boop. Kind of like I'm tacking it down once here, once here, and once here. That's what I'm gonna get. It's like a little smiley face on the back. And then I can press those down. Actually, the bottom, it's thin enough that right now it's sticking, but I don't know that that bottom is gonna stay in place. We're gonna see how this works. So I'm gonna do here and the bottom. I'm being more generous on the bottom. And it's thin enough, like I said, that I can push it down. It's a little malleable. And if I hold it down, the glue will dry in place and then it is staying on the board. I love, you guys, I really do. My style is like, I am Hot Mess Express for sure. There ain't no doubt about that. Okay, we can all agree on that. It's okay, you can say it. Um, I do need a t-shirt that says that, but I really like like layering things. You can see, you can tell by my projects. Um, yeah, it's so cute, you guys. I love it. Woohoo, sweet pea. It's for grabs if anybody wants it. I'll buy it, comment, I'll buy it, sweet pea, and then private message me um, with your mailing address and your email address, and I'll get it packaged up and figure out the shipping and invoice you and get it off to you. 15 bucks. I'm just trying to make my money back on my supplies. Um, the letters alone were $3. This was a dollar. This was $12.99. It really is for 15 bucks. It's a good deal. Um, so anyway, there you go. So the board, all of the supply list for this, um, I do have in the description. So I'll tell you that. Um, comment before you get off, comment the word club if you want to get the discounts or specials, know what they are, for the Stencil of the Month Club. I used today Sharon's beautiful little coffee set that she created for this month. It's exclusive to the Stencil of the Month Club. I use this. Um, this is the, the monthly set, but I use the add-on to create this sweet pea sign. I'm just trying to show you that you can use it for other things. It just doesn't have to be just for coffee, right? Um, so what other things do I need to tell you? You can get 10% off your order. If you're just going to go to EssentialStencil.com, you can pre-order your brushes now. They'll be shipping out February 21st and get 10% off by using my code, The Comfy Nest. You can also order anything else from the website and get 10% off by using my code, The Comfy Nest, or my link, which is in the description. I got to pull three names. Um... Uh-oh, Essential says, sorry, club comment is not working. Offers listed below. Oh, they offered them right there. They listed them below. There you go. And the sneak peek on the March set, um, um, my guess is that Essential Stencil is going to share that out in the Stencil of the Month Club and on their website, uh, their um, Facebook page, excuse me. So make sure you make your way over there. If you are a winner of these three stencil sets that I'm giving away right now, you need to email support at EssentialStencil.com with your mailing address, your name, and your email address so that they can get you your set of stencils. Okay, hold on. I got to get a pencil or a pen, which I have in my basket. And I'm going to write down pull three names randomly from who's here. So whenever you come on, even if you're shy, just, just say hello, like a quick hello, because um, that's how we know that you're here. And then we there's a chance that we'll pull your name to win. I, huge shout out for anybody who did this for me. I so appreciate you more than you can know. I work um, really hard to bring you guys good content. And if you can, if you think there are other people out there who might appreciate it and you share it, use that share button, it, it just means a lot to me. So I really do appreciate that. I'm sincere when I say that. Um, okay, yes, Brittany, you're right. They are so generous every week. Love the piece, it's so sweet. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Susie says, pick me. No, that wasn't Susie, who was that? That was Rita, said, pick me. Hey, Candy Marshall, thanks for joining in. All right, I'm pulling names for winners. First winner, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the name and I gotta write it down. It's Maureen Squiglia, oh, Squiglia. It's S-G-U-E, wait, I gotta write it down. S G U E G L I A. How do you say that, Maureen? Maureen, you're a top fan and I can't say your name, love. I'm so sorry. So, Maureen, you are our first winner of the stencil set. 
Here's our second winner. I'm pulling randomly from the names, you guys. If you're new, comment new, because I love to go back and read comments and give you guys a warm welcome. Um, I give a shout out to those. I try as hard as I can to give a shout out to all those who shared. Uh, Angel, Angel Clements, you're our next winner of a stencil set. I'm just randomly pulling from the, from the comments. So make sure when you come on my lives that you say something, say something, say hello. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to scroll, 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 scroll. I'm trying to get way back to the beginning and I don't know how many comments there are. Sometimes there's over a thousand comments. Robin Renee Garner, who is here from Tennessee. So her comment that won her was, um, Oh, where did it go? Hi, from Tennessee. So Robin, I'll show you the spelling of this in a minute. Robin Renee, whoops, I think it's just one N. Robin Renee Garner, you are our next winner. Woohoo! So here are the three winners of the stencil set. Robin Renee, Angel Clements, Maureen. I can't do it, Maureen, you have to help me. Um, the three of you. Pri or, uh, send an email message to support at EssentialStencil.com with your name, your email address, and your mailing address, and they will send you a stencil set. I will send them your name to verify that you were the winner today. We kind of cross-check that list because we don't want just anybody like saying, oh, I won. <laughs> we we want to keep everybody honest in that regard. Um, so let me see. I'm going to check for last-minute comments and questions. Um, I'll answer those. 900 comments, Samantha. Isn't that just amazing and so fun? It, we really are having a chit chat, right? We're doing a chit chat while we craft here. Neil says, congratulations. Thank you. Charlene says she loves my ideas. Thank you. Here is the project. I'll show you one more time. Here's the project for today. Yay. Up for grabs if you want it. <laughs> $15 plus shipping. Message me. Um, only one person can get it. There's only one of them. Each one of them are really unique. I mean, I, I make one of them and that's the end of it. And the next time I go to make a sign using that stencil, it's always like new stuff coming in my mind. So you are getting definitely a unique piece. Okay. <laughs> um, I wa wash so much when painting. I try to lotion every night. Oh, good gravy. Uh, look at this is my my acrylic manicure. <laughs> This is the extent of Grace's manicure. <laughs> and somebody said the other day, it's a, it's a French manicure, Grace. Yes, that's it. I always have paint on my fingertips. Yep, that's the way it is. Nancy says hers split and bleed too. Ouchie, my hands are cracking. Weather is terrible for my skin. Angela, we need to come up with a, with a, like a solid solution to this problem. <laughs> yeah, it's no good. Big polka dots, Bill said. Ooh, ooh, wow, I love the polka dots. I love them. But I don't know what you, I don't know what you were talking about. Darn it, I missed it. The signs behind me. Jolene, I made these on lives. This one is the Chocotour magnetic board. I'm a rep for Chocotour and I have a separate business page called Chocotour with a Comfy Nest. And this is the stencil of the month, the transfer for the month for that group. And it's a magnetic board. So I created, like look, 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 look. For all seasons, I created little, Welcome to our home. Little uh, embellishments for this that you can use all season. I have like a little Santa Claus. There's my little mixed media bird. with A little button for his eye. Um, so anyway, I created this on that um, page. So I can send you a link, Jolene. Just message me and I'll send you those links. Um, or you can look for them. This one was a two part. I did the first part on the Comfy Nest page a few weeks ago to show how to get this distressed um, paint job on the board and then in the heart and then I did all of the stenciling on the essential stencil page um, so it was a two-part series and I again I can send you those if you need me to and Nicole says I can't wait to get my essential stencil brushes I need to learn Chocotour Jolene you're in my VIP group aren't you girl I think you are I'm doing a huge live sale tomorrow night in that group all my discount I have so many, again, so many supplies and I need to offload some of them. So I'm offering them at as a discount in that group. So make sure you get in there. Karen says, I like your thinking. I'm so glad. You're welcome, Diane, for sharing tips. I, I love to do this. It makes, it brings me so much joy to do that for you. And I'm hoping that I'm inspiring you guys to just get your fingers dirty with paint. Like you're a DIYer, you're a crafter, you like pretty things, particularly for your home, making your home like pretty and inspiring, making it your comfy nest. Um, I love to inspire you guys to just get your fingers dirty and play with your 
your supplies and experiment and have fun with them. Um, and hopefully by doing the lives, it inspires you and gives you like new ideas for your stuff. All right, let's see. What, Cynthia says, I wonder why it's not showing I shared. Okay, I did notice. So when I ask you guys to share and then I ask you to comment that you shared, I try to go in and, and just say thank you in the comments. Um, but sometimes, like, I know I had, a, like, a, a smaller um, live, and I had, like, nine people said that they shared, but only two of them showed up. When I click on who shared, only two of them show up, and it's because of the way your privacy settings are set. So if your privacy settings won't allow us to see that, then I can't like and comment the share that you did. Um, so that has something to do with it. But make sure the other thing that affects whether I can tag you on things, like if you win a prize and I wanna tag you on that live video afterwards, the only way I can do it is if you've liked and followed my page. Otherwise you don't show up, like it doesn't, it doesn't help me find you at all. <laughs> so Karen says, I like your thinking. Cynthia says, so cute. I gotta order my brushes today. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, let me see, any last minute questions? You're welcome, Miss Ellen another live. Hello, Miss Barbara in Rhode Island. I'm a Massachusetts girl. I grew up right in the Boston area. Love Rhode Island. I love to go to the mansions. It's my dream to go back to the mansions and visit them. I want to do it. I did it with my, my two boys when they were real little and they, we only made it through three mansions. I would have done them all, but they, they just were too tired and they have had their limits. So I want to do a girl, you know, f the food magazine, which food magazine is it? It might just be the name food, but they have a big food festival and wine festival there every year. And my dream, my bucket list is to do that with my sisters. That would be so fun. So welcome, Miss Rhode Island. Where did I get my magnet board? Lisa, private message me, please. This is another company that I represent called Chocotour. And I have, I can send you my link. It's brilliant. And it's available in a kit so that you have everything you need to get started. Um, yes, and it's brilliant. It's a good, high quality. It comes in three different sizes. So private message me, I'll give you all the deets. I'll give you all the deets on that. Yay, Ellen pre-ordered, yay, yay. Ron and Becky, um, I, I need you to private message me. I can't give you that information here. They, it's just not, it's not allowed. Chocador doesn't allow it. So you need to private message me and I will get you over to that side of my business. I want to share it with you. I just need you to private message me. Hello, Miss Janice in Florida. I bet it's a lot warmer. It's high of negative one here in North Dakota today. <laughs> hey, Barbara's heading to Boston for the weekend. Your birthday, happy birthday. Happy blessed birthday to you. I'm looking at you guys, your last couple of, last couple of comments here. All right, you guys, that's it. I guess that's it. Thank you for tuning in. Watch the replay and you'll catch all of the details on where I got everything and my discount codes. I appreciate you listening in. Have a beautiful, blessed day.